Hello, my friends at St. Patrick's. This is Terry. So, I get a chance to introduce myself to your community. First of all, uh, I am the former youth minister uh, at Immaculate Heart of Mary Catholic Parish here in High Point, North Carolina. I uh, did that work for 10 years and then did lots of other things after uh, moving from Immaculate Heart of Mary. Uh, I am currently the director of student life here at a Quaker community uh, school, which is kindergartner through eighth grade called High Point Friends. I uh, do counseling and I'm involved in teaching social and emotional learning. Uh, and I wear other hats uh, because we are a small community. And as part of that vocation for me, uh, I will do everything that I need to do to support our school community. So I've been spending some time with your youth ministry core team which has been a fabulous experience for me. And I get the sense it's been an, a remarkable experience for them. So to also understand the essence of who I am, if you want to, my patron saint is St. Benedict the Moor. Do some research, take a peek inside that saint. Um, part of my, a big part of my essence and who I am has truly been driven by St. Benedict the Moor. So friends, I've enjoyed our time together. I hope this was just the right amount of time for an introduction. Uh, looking forward to our work, uh, our continued work together. And hopefully, hopefully I'll get a chance to visit you in person when this is all over with. Okay, peace be with you. And as I say often, namaste. After having attended the talks with Terry Aiken, I've gotten to know about others' cultures and how to respectfully ask questions about serious topics. I've also gotten to grow after being blessed to hear of the, of the wonderful celebrations and traditions of other cultures. I love talking to Terry Aiken about racial diversity. He shared his stories on what it feels like to be an African American. He opened my eyes to numerous possibilities that I can do to help, one of them being educating myself. Terry was teaching us rather than insulting us. I thank Terry for educating me on racial diversity. Speaking with Terry has allowed our team to open up to each other and start conversations that we wouldn't have been able to speak about um, on, if it wasn't for our courageous conversation journey. And things like inclusivity, we've learned that racial justice isn't the only thing that we need to be aware of when speaking about inclusivity and that going all in is what is going to help us make the leap from becoming social and well-informed citizens in our ever-changing world. My experience with Terry Aiken was enlightening and amazing. It, I had never had an experience like it before. I don't think I will again because this particular experience was like my first and you never forget your first of anything but it was truly amazing to me because I never really appreciated or thought about like wow these people some of my friends even have gone through these really hard things in their life or their ancestors have, their parents, their grandparents. And it's enlightening. It was truly an amazing experience. My experience with Terry Aiken during core team meetings has been super positive. Terry is super nice and always ready to listen to everyone's opinions and share his own advice. And I really appreciate that. One of my favorite parts of our meetings is talking about our heritage. Uh, one day Terry was just telling us where he comes from and it was really interesting and it really helps you to like learn a lot about a person. And so he just challenged us to talk to our grandparents and our parents and find out where we come from. And I had a lot of fun talking to my family and so I really appreciate him like introducing that to us. Another thing I appreciate is how Terry like takes the time out of his day to like listen to our opinions and share his own wisdom so that we can have like an open dialogue, which I really like. And I feel like every meeting, you know, we talk about something new and 
it's not like we have a very specific topic. We can just talk about like whatever we want and just share how we're feeling. And so I think it's really great. This past summer, we had a number of talks with a youth coordinator named Terry Aiken. In the talks, we went over a multitude of subjects and to cover all of them in this one video would be impossible. So I'm gonna cover the one that I found most influential to myself, which was our talk on unconscious biases. Unconscious biases are the opinions that you have that you might not know you have. So these can range on any topic from colors, movie genres, books, etc, etc. So before the talk, we put a little bit of work into studying it and we took a quiz on finding out our own biases. And after seeing the results I got on the quiz, I came to realize, hey, I have those biases. I didn't even know that. And it's really interesting because they're thoughts that you have that you don't know you have. And they're thoughts that can influence everything you do. So to be able to find that out and be able to potentially alter them or study them more in depth, it was very influential on how I live my life today. And I want to give a huge thanks to Terry Aiken and Mr. Clasby for that, because without all of the talks, I wouldn't be who I am. Being able to talk to Terry Aiken was the most amazing opportunity ever. Um, I'm so grateful that the youth program, the church, allowed us to have this opportunity to talk about such important issues, such as uh, racial discrimination and, and just learning about each other's cultures. It was incredible. Um, we were able to talk to each other as a team and ask questions and learn about each other's traditions and families and where we come from and our cultures. And it really opens your eyes because people who you probably thought you were friends with, uh, you start talking to them and they realize you didn't know as much as you thought you knew about them. And it kind of like opens your mind to this whole idea that like, you don't really know what's going on in people's heads. You don't know where they come from. And, and it's just that idea again that like, if we're gonna put it in the church's perspective, you know, as Catholics, we want to love like Jesus. Jesus loved everyone. He he didn't look at people who came from different places and said, you know what, you're not Jewish, so I'm not gonna talk to you. He actually went to the, what do you call them, like towns, and, and he talked to the people and, and he was open to learning um, about each other and, and loving them no matter what. He just treated people as human and I think that that's what we need to do as a church. Uh, and it's just so incredible to see that, you know, as a Catholic, I want to be able to meet people and talk to them from love and not from um, hate um, or indifference. And I want to be understanding of each other. And I feel like part of loving another person is also respecting them. And that respect is also, or showing that respect is also asking them, you know, what do you like to be called? Like, what do you feel like you're, um, you identify as? Like, do you identify as, as um, African American or black? Um, do you, where are you from? What part of South America are you from? Like, not everyone is Mexican. Like, it's just like understanding this whole idea or like asking people, what's your culture like? Was it like over there? Uh, and, people people like that like people i don't i feel like society has told us that you know that we shouldn't ask questions that it's gonna be rude and it's gonna be horrible but i think or what i learned from terry is that it's better to sometimes ask because it's showing respect and that you want to you care for the person and then you, you want to talk to them and treat them the way they feel comfortable and safe you don't want to assume something and then maybe that thing that you assumed is something that doesn't make them feel good. Because what we want is to approach people with love, like Jesus did. And so it was, it, it's so amazing to to be told that and and to, to see that, you know, maybe our families and our parents or our grandparents or our grand-grandparents um, thought certain things. But to, to open our minds and be curious about everything and just to challenge those ideas and taking them like head on and like asking the questions and maybe those those ideas that we had in our heads are not true and and it's it's so incredible to be able to 
talk to people who are different from you because it shows you the world is like this beautiful place and humanity is gorgeous and and we have so many awesome cultures and 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 traditions that we need to celebrate and learn from and and i think that needs to be encouraged and i feel like as a church um we need to do that more often we um we saw it in core team the more we did it the more we 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 became like this like the bond got stronger and as a church we need to start doing that and we need to start we already do it but we need to do it a lot more um to be open to new people whenever people come to our church we need to be open to them with open arms like no matter what color you are what just like be open and like realize that we're all like brothers and sisters and maybe sometimes our like normal or like what we're used to doing is just kind of like ignoring it because like you don't want to be like awkward but um you know see like there's this whole idea of like you don't want to treat people differently because you don't want them to um you like different but it's also nice to 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 approach someone with with love and um open arms um if the if you notice that they're new to the church no matter what race um ethnicity um they are just just to be open to them whenever they come to the church so that they can see that we're people who are willing to learn um and about each other and about loving each other and and just also about ourselves um it's not only about learning about each other but um something that terry taught me is just like also being able to look inward and and look at your family and your family tree and you know that explains a lot of things of like who you are and i feel like self-awareness is also really important in order to to be able to approach other people um and wanting to learn about them so i i think that what i learned from terry was absolutely incredible uh, the experience of and especially that i was able to share that experience with core team um personally i would really encourage you to to do something um whatever it is like read a book about um i don't know or or watch videos about other traditions or ask your friends or your neighbors about whatever it is but uh try to be open to having a conversation these conversations are so essential um especially right now we're we're in a moment where we want to open up and we want to we want to we want to do what jesus did love first so that's what i got from terry and i really hope that you're able to get something from this video maybe feel encouraged to to do something uh yourself as well so thank you and i hope you have a good day